Gonna miss waking up to this view. Good boy, Cottage. All right, let's go get my dog. Hello, Santa Claus. Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Hello, dear Santa Claus. Hello, you look nice. Thank you. You going to church? Ready to go to church to praise the Lord. Looks like it. Yeah, Marley had a nice time. The only hey, wait, wait. Come here. The only thing that she thought she went. Come here. Time come for mommy to come. Yeah. You ready to go home? You happy to be home? Hmm? You happy to be home? Anybody? <sighs> that concludes our holiday cottage getaway. I had the best time. Um, I actually knocked out when I got home. I just woke up from a nap, so excuse all this, but it was well needed. I had a great relaxing weekend, and now it's back to the grind, y'all. Um, today is Sunday, so it is plant watering day. I gave them all a little something before I left, but I'm just going to go around and check on them. And then I'm going to make something to eat because I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to take a look in the fridge, see what needs to be cooked, and make that. I think I need to cook this cauliflower. It's got a couple spots, as you can see. bought that before we left. And I think I need to cook these green peppers pretty soon, too. Yeah, let's see what we come up with with that. These carrots look pretty gnarly, too. Let's use up this stuff. Here's how my dinner turned out. Made some curry cauliflower and some basmati rice, nice and simple. So that's dinner. I don't think I updated you guys on Mr. D. He's gone guys. He's no longer at the front door. He actually really did not like the draft that would come in from the front door whenever we opened the door throughout the day for whatever reason. So 
Mr. D is now with us in the living room and he loves it. Um, as you can see, pretty much as soon as I moved him, he started sprouting a new leaf. Oh, that's Marley knocking at the door. I hear you, buddy. Um, so yeah, as you can see, he loves that spot, which is great. He's just a little bit too low. So I purchased this table. Um, it's actually a side table, but I'm going to use it as a plant stand. And that should work. I just have to put it together. Good morning, Smaxie. Look how slim and trim she is, guys. She got a new groomer. <laughs> they cut her hair so weird at the back. It looks like her head is massive, but she cute. Happy. Happy Tuesday. I put a little bit of green tea mask right here on my forehead to try to nip a pimple in the bud. We'll see if it worked, but yeah, good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. It is in fact morning, but I'm up early because pretty much couldn't sleep. So I placed an Instacart order because we have no groceries in the house. The fridge is looking pretty bare, wouldn't you agree? Not even much to make a struggle meal, so. Yes, I'm about to collect my Instacart order from my front door, BRB. All right, here's my grocery haul. That's my confirmation email. Tomatoes, some peppers, some green peppers, some scallion, and some romaine. Some heavy cream, some milk, some mozzarella, some stewing beef, which I plan on cooking today, some turkey breakfast sausages, some penne, bag of onions, bag of carrots, and a head of cabbage. Oh, and some good old black pepper, you guys. Question for you all. What spice do you guys run out of first? For me, it is always, always, always black pepper. I always run out of this first. All right, groceries are away. Dishes are washed. Meat is cleaned. I'm just gonna season it now. A little salt. Good old black pepper. Onion powder. This is probably what I run out of um, second most right after black pepper uh we're gonna put some worcestershire sauce so worcestershire sauce you guys know what i'm talking about this is an excellent meat tenderizer you guys so if you want your stews to be nice and soft a generous spoon of green seasoning recipes in my food playlist probably add a little all-purpose as well hold on actually you know what i'll add some oxtail seasoning that'll be nice I'm also going to add a little bit of um, garlic paste. There we go. Going to saran wrap this, pop it in the fridge, cook it for dinner. Okay, you guys, I'm chatting with Glamazzini. Like, she's my friend, like we chat. Like, MBD guys, like MBD, we're, we're friends. Anyways, um... Should I go back to bed or should I take out my hair? I was supposed to rock these for two weeks, but honestly, with all of the um, cottage shenanigans, it just got a little bit worse for wear and very fuzzy. So, I'm gonna take these out. Well, I didn't manage to take my hair out, but I did manage to restock the Akushka 1B33s. Still in time for my sale. Anyways. My friend is coming to visit me, guys. My friend Jada, I'm so excited. 
guys look at what jada brought me oh my god it's so beautiful it is a liqueur product of holland made with french cognac bsop cognac dutch vodka and rosé wine it's gorgeous i'm definitely keeping this bottle it's gonna look great on my bar cart beside my rose glasses Look at how beautiful that is. So it actually comes in three flavors. These are the different flavors. This was my little belated housewarming gift. She brought it back for me um, from her trip to the States. So thank you so much, Jada. I love it so much. And then the cool thing is that it comes with samples. So you can actually try the other ones. I'm halfway through. You can see Marley curled up on the uh, chair there. Halfway done. Doing a little skincare in the meantime. All right, these are my gold hydrogel eye masks. You guys have seen these before, but if you missed my skincare video, got these on Amazon. I'm obsessed with them because they are whew, so hydrating. I just love them so much. I'm done, guys. Can you guys hear all that bass in the background? That's half in the studio. Recording. Okay, I think I'm going to spritz some rose water. This is from Bella Galore. And I will do a little bit of lip oil. Still feels really really soft but it was only away for like a week and a half so nothing crazy anyways y'all productive day so far isn't it it is 5 38 so i guess i can go get started on dinner Alrighty, here we go got my beef here that has been marinating gonna heat the oil in the pan let's brown it with some sucre let's brown it with some brown sugar turbinado sugar prop you guys up here can you guys see you can see the pot you can see marley all is good Oil is heating. Let's add our uh, carbonado style sugar. Chop my veggies in the meantime. Oh my god. Why? I hate when peppers have peppers inside of them. Oh my god. Like, why are you pregnant, you disgusting whore? Oh, they gross me out so much. Okay, my sugar. Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see. I also don't want to melt my camera, but there we go. My sugar is brown and bubbling. In goes my beef. We're going to just stir that up. I keep working on my veggies. So far, I have onions, green peppers, scallions, and um, I'll just put them in this bowl. For now, I've already washed them. Some good old Irish potatoes. Okay, I decided to go with two potatoes and I'm gonna add some carrots as well. So I just got two carrots as well. Pro tip, do not add cold water to your beef stews and dishes because it makes the beef tough. So boil your water, people. That way you keep the temperature consistent. 
and keeps the meat soft. All right, here's how it's looking. Looks pretty delicious. It still needs to cook longer to soften up, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the veggies now and just add some more water so it'll, it can all cook together. So here are my veggies into the pot. And then we'll get all these nice, all this nice extra flavor from the basin of our hot water. Give it a nice stir. Look how colorful, I love colorful dishes, you guys. Then we're gonna add some thyme and a scotch bonnet. Cover, let it simmer. Well guys, I think that concludes it. Let me show you how everything turned out. Caught the scotch bonnet in time before it burst. Here is my stew beef. I wish that there was smell of vision Smells great. The beef is super tender. Like I could break it just with this, whatever this is, silicone thing. So that's completely done. A little bit of jasmine rice and I had some peas in the freezer that I wanted to use up. It's like barely a quarter of a pack. Just toss that in some butter. Dinner is served. I'm about to make myself a plate. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow. Ooh, look at my pink pot set. By the way, I got this pink pot set on Amazon, which I love it. I use this stuff all the time, you guys know, so I'll link it down below if you're interested. Anyways, good night, guys.